it clearly belongs to the topic of syllogism there are three statements followed by four conclusions and our job here is to find out which of these four conclusions logically follow the given statements so what's the first step the first step is to draw the basic diagram right draw the basic diagram for the given statements some cups are plates some cups are plates all spoons are blue now the problem is some cups are plates has been drawn this way next statement has got all spoons are blue now neither spoons nor blue have been drawn so far we have what we have drawn here is cups and plates so try and look at the other statement if there is anything common between cups and plates there yeah third statement if you see no plates are spoon no plates are spoon so no plates are spoon draw that no plates are spoon why did we put cross mark on plates and spoons to indicate that these two cannot overlap with each other right plates and spoons cannot overlap with each other now look at the second statement all spoons are blue spoons is already there all spoons are blue this is the basic diagram what you have seen here is the basic diagram now you can verify all the statements some cups are plates you see some cups are plates all spoons are blue all the spoons are blue all the spoons are inside blue and no plates are spoon plates and spoons will not touch each other so this is the basic diagram now let's verify the conclusions remember a conclusion which does not follow the basic diagram is definitely false it does not follow the statements at all but when a conclusion follows the basic diagram you have to check the possible diagrams as well all right if a conclusion does not follow the basic diagram it is false but when a conclusion follows the basic diagram it is not true you have to check the possible diagrams in that case so so let's go and verify these conclusions one by one so first one some cups are not spoon some cups are not spoon now look at this well if i check the basic diagram some cups are not spoon is true in fact all the cups are not spoons i can choose some of these cups i can choose some portion of this cups and say these cups are not spoon right some cups are not spoon right some cups are not spoon so the idea is you can always find out some cups which are not spoons in in the basic diagram now this conclusion follows the basic diagram so does it mean that it is correct no when a conclusion follows the basic diagram does not mean that it is correct you have to check the possible diagrams as well remember this is like the classical rule that you have to follow if a conclusion follows the basic diagram don't mark it as true check if it follows other diagrams also or not only then you can say it is true so it has cleared the basic diagram some cups are not spoon has cleared the basic diagram but will it clear all the diagrams yes it will clear all the diagrams how can you say that see logical way of checking this is as follows without drawing possible diagrams i can say that first one follows how we know that some cups will always be plates there is an overlapping between cups and plates so there are always going to be some cups which are plates but plates cannot touch spoons look at the statement some cups are always plates but plates are not spoons so these cups you look at the shaded region these cups which are also plates cannot be spoons so there are always going to be some cups there are always going to be some cups which are not spoons any diagram you draw any type of diagram you draw there can there can be like let's say 20 different ways of drawing the possible diagram here but in each diagram always you will find that there are some cups which are not spoons and why are those cups not spoons because those cups are plates and plates cannot be spoons so some cups are not spoon is a definite conclusion it follows all the diagrams so number 1 is true now look at number 2 some plates are not blue some plates are not blue is it true well again if i look at the basic diagram some plates are not blue is true i can choose some plates i can choose some plates and say yes these plates are not blue right these plates are not blue but the question that arises it that arises is will it always be true some plates are not blue will it always be true well no it will not be true always i i told you right if a conclusion follows the basic diagram don't mark it as true check the other diagrams also and i'm sure when we draw uh, the diagram in one way it comes out to be false I, i'll i'll show you how it comes out to be false look at this i am drawing a possible way of uh what is that blue what is the statement all spoons are blue all spoons are blue so all spoons are blue we have drawn it in this way but what if i draw blue in this fashion b dash let's say have we violated the statement no the statement said all spoons are blue here also all the spoons are inside blue did we go against any of the statement no all spoons are blue no plates are spoons no plates are spoons still no plates are spoons so what you see this blue color b is the basic diagram what you see is this green color b is the possible diagram now in this possible diagram what do we find see the conclusion was some plates are not blue still you find that some plates are not blue these outside plates are not blue some plates are blue these plates are blue but still some outside plates are not blue but then i can do one thing i can draw a bigger circle let's say i draw blue in this way b double dash 
See, these are all possible ways of drawing B. B is the basic way of drawing B. These are possible ways of drawing B. B dash and B double dash are possible ways of drawing B, which is blue here. So the point I'm trying to make is when I draw B double dash, did I go against any of the statement? No, I have not violated any of the statement. The statement said all spoons are blue. Yes, even now all the spoons are blue. All these spoons are inside this B double dash. But what happened in this process, we have found that all the plates have also become blue. You see, all the plates have become blue. All the plates are inside B double dash. All the plates are inside B double dash. And the moment all the plates are inside B double dash, some plates are not blue becomes false. Because all the plates are inside blue. If all the plates are inside blue now, how can you say some plates are not blue? That is the reason some plates are not blue is false. You understand? Some plates are not blue is false. You getting it? So, conclusion two, cleared the basic diagram, but it failed in the possible diagram. In fact, it cleared the possible diagram also, the first possible diagram, but it failed in the second possible diagram. So, that's the point. Don't just depend on the basic diagram. You have to check the possible diagrams also when a conclusion follows the basic diagram. Now go to the third one. Some cups are not blue. Some cups are not blue. Some cups are not blue. The same argument. Again look at B double dash. When I look at B double dash, can you say some cups are not blue? All the cups have become blue. The same, same theory holds true for third conclusion as well. In second conclusion, it said some plates are not blue. Now it is saying some cups are not blue. Look at the same diagram, B double dash. In B double dash, all the cups have become blue. All the cups are inside B double dash. Which means all the cups are blue. So how can you say some cups are not blue? It is wrong. So third one does not follow. Now look at fourth one. Some blue are not plates. Some blue are not plates. Is it true? Some blue are not plates. Some blue are not plates. Yes. You take any diagram, whether you take B or B, B dash or B double dash, you'll always find that some blue are not plates. Yes or no? Some blue are not plates. Let, let me explain this using a color coding so that it becomes easier for you guys to follow. See, I am highlighting this conclusion. Conclusion says what? Some blue are not plates. Some blue are not plates. Look at the basic diagram. In the basic diagram where we have drawn blue as B, these outside blue are not plates. I mean, in fact, all the blues are not plates. You understand? These are the blues which are not plates. So it satisfies the basic diagram, right? Yellow. See this yellow statement here. Some blue are not plates. All these are those blues which are not plates. Yeah? When I go to the possible diagram, so it, 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 it satisfied the basic diagram. Conclusion 4 satisfied the basic diagram. But will it satisfy the possible diagrams? Yes, it satisfies the possible diagrams also. Look at the uh, second pos uh, first possible diagram, B dash. Some blue are not plates. Which blue are not plates? All these outside blue are not plates. All these outside blue are not plates, right? All these outside blue are not plates. These blue are plates, but these outside blue are not plates. When you look at B double dash, what happens? All these outside blue are not plates. Always there are going to be some blues which are not plates. You see? Which blue are not plates here? These blues. These blues are not plates. You understand? What is the reason? What is the reason? Always you will find that some of the blues are not plates. Some of the blues are not plates. Some blues are plates. But some blues are not plates. Right? Right? So, with the help of diagram, the basic diagram and then the possible diagrams, you can very clearly identify that conclusion number 4 follows. It follows not only the basic diagram, but the possible diagrams as well. And logically, if you want to verify, logically, if you want to verify conclusion number 4, this is how we can check. See, understand that for some blue are not plates to be false. What should be true? For some blue are not plates to be false, all the blue must be plates. If all the blues become plates, if all the blues become plates, then I can say this is wrong. But can all the blues become plates? No. Because the moment you take all the blues, see these are all the blues, right? The moment you take all the blues inside plates, what happens? Spoons will also go inside plates. But can spoons go inside plate? No. Spoons are not allowed to enter plates. You see, spoons and plates cannot overlap with each other. So logically, if you try and verify, the complementary part for some blue are not plates is all blue are plates. But all blue cannot be plates here because the moment you take all the blues inside plates, spoons will also go inside plates, which is not allowed. Which means all the blue cannot be plates. If all the blue cannot be plates, then some blue are not plates is correct. So your final answer to this question should be only 1 and 4 follow. 
2 and 3 do not follow and remember there is no complementary pair here do not consider 2 and 4 as a complementary pair that some plates are not blue some blue are not plates that's not a complementary pair okay so only 1 and 4 follow is the final answer